About 10 Vietnamese women evicted by local government authorities in Dien Ban village in central Vietnam's Quang Nam province chained themselves inside their homes on Tuesday to prevent police from forcibly removing them. The women chained themselves in protest against what they consider low compensation of 720,000 dong US $31.50 per square meter for their property. Though the country's 2013 land law specifies that the rate should be 3 million dong US $131 per square meter, Dang Quoc Men, one of the EVTs told RFA's Vietnamese service. The local government wrote on the women's official eviction notice that the land was supposed to be handed over on June 30, 2014, when in fact it was transferred between June and November 2015. She said, the country's land law did not take effect until July 1, 2014. The women did not move out of their homes at the time because of the dispute over compensation. About 200 policemen arrived on the site on Tuesday to carry out the evictions, and at about 2 p.m., a digger started operating on the land, Min said. They, the women, are still sitting in there waiting for the security forces to come in and evict them, she said. The women are fighting like they are in prison, she said. They have chained their arms and legs so the police can't arrest them. We don't oppose them, the officers. We are only fighting for our rights. Min said the evictees want to be paid the amount of compensation they are due according to the law. Nguyen Dat, vice chairman of Dean Ban People's Committee, was quoted by the state-run Da Nang police newspaper on May 21st as saying that the government will have to evict 14 households to prepare for upgrade work on a road that passes through the area. The upgrades to the road, which connects the coastal city of Da Nang City in central Vietnam with the town of Hoi and in Quang Nam province, will ease traffic congestion during morning and evening rush hours, the report said. The newspaper report also noted that the evictees had filed a complaint with the Provincial People's Committee, and that Quang Nam's government had resolved it on October 2, 2017. The land appropriation and compensation for 14 households have been carried out in accordance with the law to ensure the rights and benefits of the people, it said. Thank you for listen to my channel. Please is subscribe for get hot news in the world.